this tutorial, you are going to need worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To start, make a slip stitch and chain eight. In the second chain from hook, single crochet. And single crochet in each stitch across. Chain one and single crochet in the back loop of each stitch across. And then at the end, you're going to place a single crochet in the chain one space. So just remember not to work your first single crochet in the back loop on the very first stitch. That chain will count as your first stitch. Okay, and then the final single crochet in the chain space. Okay, chain one. Repeat this process until you have 27 rows. Continue going single crochet in the back loop across. Okay. I'll come back when I have 27 rows. Okay, now that I have 27 rows, I'm going to fold my work in half and I am going to join with a series of slip stitches across. The best way that I found for me to do this is to insert my hook into the back loop of the stitch and into that first chain space. And then you're just gonna slip stitch. Again, back loop of the next stitch and the next chain space and slip stitch. Do this all the way across. Now that we've completed joining with a slip stitch, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet around in the side of each row. So continue creating a single crochet on the side of each row around and then join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. With round one complete, you should have 27 stitches. Now for round two, we're going to chain four. This is gonna count as your first double crochet and chain one space. Double crochet in the same stitch Skip the next two stitches, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next two stitches, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue around working a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in every third stitch. So skip two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue that all the way around. After completing round two, you should have nine V stitches all the way around. We're gonna join with a slip stitch to the third chain. Okay. 
for round three, we're gonna slip stitch into the chain one space and chain four. Double crochet in the same space. And now from here on out, we are going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each chain one space. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue working that all the way around and join with a slip stitch to the third chain of turning chain. Round three is now complete. For round four, we're going to slip stitch again into the chain one space. Chain four. Double crochet in the same space. In the next chain one space, we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This will create a V-stitch increase. Okay. Now in the rest of the chain one spaces around, we're going to complete what we normally do by creating a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue that in each chain one space around and join with a slip stitch to the third chain of the turning chain. Now you should have 10 V-stitches. We're counting this V-stitch increase as one, two V-stitches. For round five, we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space, chain four, single uh, double crochet in the same space and we're going to continue around by making double crochet chain one double crochet in each of the chain one spaces around double crochet chain one double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet and repeat that all the way around now that we each reached the end of round five, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the third chain. Okay. And for round six, we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain four. Double crochet in the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This will create another V-stitch increase. For the rest of the way around, we're going to continue by placing a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each of the chain one spaces around. So continue that around and join with a slip stitch to the third chain of your turning chain. Round six is now complete. Should have 11 V stitches. Round seven, we're going to slip stitch into the chain one, chain four, double crochet in the same stitch. And we're gonna do what we seem to always do, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space. Continue doing that around, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Work that all the way around. Now with round seven complete, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the third chain. To start round eight, we're gonna slip stitch into the chain one space, chain four, double crochet in the same stitch, 
Now we're going to skip the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're going to continue to work that around. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue working that in each chain one space around and join with a slip stitch to the third chain. With round eight complete, you'll see that we have our thumb hole for our glove. For round nine, we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space. Chain four. Double crochet in the same stitch. And then continue around by placing double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each chain stitch around. So complete that all the way around and join with a slip stitch to the third chain. Round nine is complete. So for round 10 and 11, what we're going to do is single crochet in each stitch around. Make that first stitch right on that turning chain. And chain one space and then the double crochet. So continue working single crochet in each stitch around for two rows and making sure you join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. With round 10 complete, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. Chain one. And again, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. For this round, you should have 27 stitches, just like you did for round one. We'll continue working the single crochet all the way around. And this pattern is the same for the right and the left glove. So you're just going to make two of these. And once you have completed round 11 we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made and then we're going to finish off our work and there you go and there's your completed Valerie's fingerless glove There you go.